Good morning and happy day after Thanksgiving. It's early 30 in the morning. We ate like pigs yesterday. Sorry I didn't get to film for you. Um, hi Nikki, say hi to everybody out there. <laughs> and anyway, Nicole is here to spend the night because of Thanksgiving and did homemade biscuits. So I'm going to make you my simple three ingredient biscuits. They're probably my favorite biscuits. They just taste so good because they've got a whole stick of butter in them and self-rising flour. That's it. So let me get started and show you. Okay, so it's two cups of self-rising flour. So simple, guys. So I am in my jammies, no makeup. Now this is a very important step. I'm using my kitchen mixer, that salad master I've had forever. I got a frozen stick of butter and I'm grating it. I'm using the fine grater. Just use whatever grater you have or your food processor, or whatever way you have. Okay, I got the butter grated fine into my, and now I'm gonna mix it into the flour. So simple. We're going to make a well kind of in the center. Pour your buttermilk right in there and mix it up. Any who's Get that blended in really, really well. But don't over mix your batter. I put down my mat, my Tupperware um, plastic mat for rolling stuff out. And I'm gonna blend that flour in that was being stubborn. Oh boy, don't I look like a beauty. But I figured if I was making these, I'd just show you how simple they are. That looks pretty good. Barely mix as much as you need to. I'm going to put just a tad more flour down there on the board. And I'm going to, I pat mine out pretty thick. I like big biscuits. I like big biscuits and I cannot lie. Okay. Happy. I don't have a biscuit cutter here. So I'm just going to take a big old glass that's about the right size. Dip it in my flour. It's about the size of my finger, a little longer actually. And don't twist. If you do, you're going to seal the edges. You don't want that thick. These are like grand's size. Let me get some more flour to dip it in. That was easier, just dumping it on the counter. Two. There, there's a little mini biscuit. These are about the size most people would make. That's the palm of your hand. And then these are the size of the ones I like to make. I always make them like this. It's my favorite. Okay, unfortunately my cast iron griddle, my big one, is at the cabin. So I'm going to take this little one I've got here. I'm going to rub it real good. Got this tub of bacon grease I always save at Mom's and Jerry's. And grease my friend. And these are not all going to fit on here, so I'll have to come up with something else. Got three good ones. I do want to touch the sides. And I like to always, I've always put four. I can't do it like this because I felt my press on nails. See, Nikki did them for me yesterday. You pretty? So I don't know why, I just like to put my four, I guess that way they know they're mine. And then I'm just going to pop these in a 450 oven until they're nice and golden. I don't even know how long it is, but I'll let you know. I just watch them. I just eyeball them. I'll use my cast iron skillet and it's got to grease it up as well. And I don't know with the high sides if that's going to hurt my cooking, but I'll let you know. At least I know I'll have three good ones. And eating, eating one of those is like eating two biscuits. Usually I go one, two, three, four. Doesn't work too good with these. Okay, let's pop these back in the oven with the ones on the griddle. Now I'm going to make some sausage gravy. And it usually doesn't have enough 
fat in it, so I'm going to add, of course, some bacon grease in the bottom of my pan. My stepfather, Jerry, bless his heart, is running his um, breathing machine, and so that's the humming you'll hear in the background. Doesn't bother me if it doesn't bother you. So, because the sausage is so lean, I'm going to add a little bit of bacon grease to the pan. Let me go ahead, since I'm making sausage gravy, I like this ground super duper fine. Some people might like big chunks, but I like it ground up. And as soon as it starts cooking, it's easier to break up. Got me a big fork to break up the sausage. And I like it well done. So we'll just let that go. Cook through, but not as brown as I like it to be. So let's let it go some more while I wash dishes. Okay. Ooh, it's hot enough. It's done. So now I want to add my flour. So let me turn this heat down a little bit so it won't pop me while I'm showing you. I'm going to tilt my pan a little bit so I can judge the amount of grease in there. Now bacon and sausage. That's going to have lots of flavor. And what I do is I just take my can, can of flour and I put in a little less flour than there is grease. Mix it up. Make sure I didn't overdo it or underdo it. Nope, that'll be fine. That'll be huge fine. Because remember, I like my roux a little bit runny. Some of you guys do it real thick. I find that makes mine a little lumpy. And I just mix it all in there. Let it cook off the flour. Let it cook off the flour for two minutes. And it'll have a little bit of a nuttier flavor. Then we'll add our liquid. We're burning off that flavor, uh, that flour, raw flour. Let's add our salt and pepper. I love tons of pepper in my cream gravy. Tons. Just shake, shake, shake. The more the better. When you think you have enough, you're going to add more, and I'll add more later. And salt, not as much, but you got to have the proper amount or it won't taste just right. So, I'm happy with that. So now I'm just going to add my milk. Usually I use whole milk. You didn't have any. This will be just fine. Better turn the heat up. I can just eyeball it and tell what I need. And we're just going to stir and stir and stir and not stop stirring. Because it's going to start thickening when it gets hot again. And... I don't want it to get lumpy, and that's why you keep stirring. These beautiful biscuits, they just came out of the oven. Crunchy on the outside, tender on the inside. Nikki's stirring the sausage gravy. And so next I'm going to brush these with some butter. Mm. And the gravy's going super good. It's almost there. It's got to thicken to just the right consistency. And that is a beautiful consistency. So let's get to eating. Nikki, you get you all you want. Mm. Shall we go to the table? Sure. I like mine drizzled with honey. Learned it when I worked at the Union 76 truck stop from the truck drivers. I was a waitress there. It's much better than you would even think. <laughs> mm -hmm. You happy? For what? Just, Just, mama. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. for you, baby. Mm -hmm. Happy Thanksgiving. The biscuits are so good. I know, aren't they wonderful? Mm -hmm. Best taste in biscuits. It's that stick of butter in them. Oh, so good. You can never have enough butter. Never. Never, never, never. Mm -hmm. I'm back for more gravy because, well, it is that good, guys. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. cream gravy. <laughs>